Well, well, well. Tonight, I have the house to myself. Just me. My wife and daughter are house sitting for a friend, and I am going to enjoy myself. How am I going to enjoy myself? I'm going to watch a guy movie on Netflix. I'm going to have the TV up really loud. I'm going to have me some chili dogs. And I'm going to light me a candle. That's right. I'm going to light a candle. Now, I know some of you guys out there are hardcore dudes. And you're like, candle? Why am I going to light a candle? Real men don't like candles. <clears throat> Well, I got news for you. Real men do like candles. Hey, we take the time to smell good, right? At least I hope you do. We take the time to smell good, spray on a little bit of cool water or whatever cologne you like. Like to smell good, you know, you shave. You know, you like to look good and smell good. Whether it's for yourself, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever. The general public. Well, for me, I like to light a candle as well, a manly candle. Now, when I say a manly candle, I'm not knocking, you know, the other candles, but I'll get to the point and show you what I'm talking about. So my wife, she likes to buy candles all the time. She likes to buy these kind of candles. This is the Sand and Fog brand, White Pumpkin, and hey, I got to admit, smells good it smells really good it smells like pumpkin i don't know how a white pumpkin smells but it smells like pumpkin and then she has you know coconut mahogany this one right here you know nothing wrong with it i like the way it smells but you know i like to have my own candle now when i get these candles she tells me you're going to light those when I'm not home, right? And of course. They're not funky candles, but they're manly candles. Candles that I want to light. So I'm going to show you a few of the candles that I like. All right? So let's start off with the first one. Now this one right here is called Vanilla Tobacco. Sand and Fog Vanilla Tobacco Candle. Look at this baby. That's right. Open it up. Has a nice little wooden lid to it. And it tells us a little bit about sand and fog. I'm not going to read all of that. You know, it's a nice looking candle. Uh, that is a nice manly candle. Mm, mm, mm. Vanilla tobacco. That's right. Gotta have it. Check it out. If you like manly candles, this might be the one for you. Now, my second candle that I love is Tobacco Vetiver. This baby right here. Tobacco Vetiver. Yes. Look at that. Nice container. Nice lid. Mmm. This is another great candle. I'm telling you, tobacco vetiver. Now you might say, what the heck is a vetiver? Vetiver is a plant. It's like a grass, I believe, and it's used for aromatherapies and it's relaxing. It's for anxiety. People use them for that type of stuff. You know, sore muscles, that type of stuff. That's what vetiver is. It's a plant. It's like a grass or something like that. So, sweet vanilla. This is how you know I'm getting old when I lift my glasses. Sweet vanilla reveals nuances. Nuances. That's right. Nuances. That's what it reveals. Of tobacco leaves, smoked cedar, and vetiver resting on a base of sensual musk. Mmm. 
cool thing about this, look at the wick on it. That's right. It's not, it's not just a normal wick. That's right. It's like a wooden wick. Mm. How manly, how manlier can you get? A wooden wick on your candle. That's right. All right, so this is my second favorite candle. Now this third one, this one might throw you for a loop. It just might throw you for a loop. If you're a city person, you might not get it. But if you're a country person, then you know what I'm talking about. This one right here, Backyard Bonfire. That's right. Backyard Bonfire. I love the smell of a bonfire when it has the wood and, you know, the right stuff in it. Not when you just throw a bunch of crap in it. Backyard Bonfire. This right here. Mmm. Lovely, manly, man, this is a good candle. Mm, mm, mm. Hand poured, burn time, 56 hours of manly candleness. 56 hours, approximately 56 hours. I love it. All right, and this is by DW Home. Now DW Home, man, they put out some really nice scents, some really nice manly candles, I'm telling you. And this one right here is made by Scent Gallery Candles. And this one right here, of course, made by Sand and Fog. Yep, these three. All right, so my next candle, the final one, the finale of Manly Scents. It's this big baby right here. Yep. It's a wooden wick candle just like this one you ready for it it's warm tobacco pipe that's right can't make that up warm tobacco pipe now my uncle used to smoke a tobacco pipe and i was just talking to my sister the other day about this candle about why i like it so much because it takes me back to a time Whereas it makes me think about my uncle when he's sitting on the front porch with his legs crossed and he has that pipe in his hand. I think it was like a mahogany type pipe and he would pack it with that tobacco and then he'd take that lighter and light that baby up and the smell of the tobacco was awesome. And it also reminds me of a time when I was little and I went to the south to go visit some of my relatives that owned a tobacco farm. And it was tobacco leaves everywhere. They had tobacco houses and just the smell. I hadn't had that smell in my mind for years until I opened this candle. When I opened it, it took me all the way back to that time. So, brought back the memories, fond memories, and I love the smell of it. Warm tobacco pipe. Mm, let me crack this baby so it can take me back. Ooh, that is lovely. Yes, indeed. Wooden wick. I wouldn't expect the color of the candle to be like this. It's like a charcoal black color. Very interesting. Smells very good and manly. Yes, indeed. All right, so you might want to know, where did I get these candles? Is that what you're saying? Jay, where did you get these candles? I got every last one of these candles at Marshall's. Now, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods are all owned by the same company. If you really want to go and find some interesting stuff, go check out Marshall's, TJ Maxx, or Home Goods. If you love cooking, they got a whole bunch of stuff there. If you like to try new foods and condiments and seasonings and spices and sauces and all that stuff, go check them out. But this is my candle haul from Marshall's. And I paid $4.50 for this one. I paid $7.99 for this one. For this one, I paid $9.99 for this one. 
And for this big baby right here, I paid $16.99. Now I know, I know, I know you might think, are you crazy spending that much for one candle? I might be, but I'm telling you this. Just like your wife or your girlfriend or whoever in your life likes to light their candle, then gosh darn it, we got to write to light our candles too when they're not home. So since my wife and daughter are gone tonight, I'm about to light one of these babies up. I'm about to go back over here in the kitchen and finish making these chili dogs. I'm about to put on my manly movie on TV, my action movie, and turn the volume up real loud and kick back on the recliner with my German Shepherd sitting right next to me. That's right. All right, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and set your notifications so you get notified every single time I put out a new video. And leave some comments because I try my best to reply to them or at least give you a thumbs up or a heart or something like that. Oh yeah, and by the way, make sure you check out my Food Snob channel, The Food Snob, because that's where I do reviews and trials and testing on food and kitchen products. And if I like it, I'll do the video and I'll share it with you on The Food Snob channel. This channel, No Menu Cooking, is the channel that I mainly do a lot of cooking and stuff like that, but I want you guys to know. Check out The Food Snob, make sure you subscribe for me, and hey, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.